You're not going to produce more jobs by passing right-to-work legislation. There is evidence, though, that passing right-to-work legislation actually will hurt um, household incomes. For example, we have 22 states right-to-work, 28 states not right-to-work. Um, those states with right-to-work legislation generally have lower median household incomes than those that do not have uh, right-to-work legislation. Oh yeah, the right to work for less? Yeah. yeah. Here's what I don't understand as an independent business person. I don't understand why politicians insist on uh, ha wanting our workers, our people, our communities to actually work for less money and not value them. I, I, I'm perplexed by that. And with that, by lowering the wages, it also has a broader impact on the economy because again, if people have less money to spend, they're going to be able to spend less money on goods, less money on, let's say, going to tourist resorts, less money on whatever. And that just has a general impact in terms of hurting the economy. Big businesses tend not to think of those small workers uh, who are the backbone of their business uh, because it's always about the bottom line. It's always about the profit and not about the people. And we need to remember that it's about the people, not the profit, that's important. Because I think if you take care of the people, the profit will come.